In this video, we're going to begin adding effects to our mix to create a more polished final product. In this video, we'll be covering how to add basic effects to your tracks, as well as how to use preset effects chains to quickly mix your tracks. Like I talked about in the recording video, one of the first things I'd like to do is add an amplifier to the electric guitars, as I recorded these directly into my audio interface, so there was no amplifier involved. As I also mentioned in that video, Mixcraft includes an amplifier right inside of it that we can use on our guitars. Let's begin by taking a listen only to the electric guitars. To do that, we can go over here to the left and click solo on both of the electric guitar layers. This isolates them from the rest of the sounds in the mix. Now let's take a listen to just the electric guitars. So what you're hearing is actually the sound directly from my guitar's pickups, which maybe isn't the most inspiring sound on earth for a rock song. Let's add an amplifier to these guitars. To do that, we'll go over here and click the Add Effects button. Then we can search the word Amp and find the Shred Amp Simulator. Similar to an actual amplifier, we can quickly dial in our tone using the controls here. We can also change our cabinet down here in the bottom, as well as select different amplifiers with the Select Head tool. If you're not sure what settings to use, you can go up here to the top bar and click the drop down to go through a set of different presets. However, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do, so I'll be dialing in my tone manually today. Let's go back in the track here and start playing it and dial in our tone for our first guitar layer. To make sure I'm only hearing that guitar, I will unsolo the second guitar layer, that way we're only listening to this first guitar. Cool, I think I'm pretty happy with that tone. So we can solo our second electric guitar layer and begin adding another amp to it. To do this quickly, what we can actually do is hold Alt and click and drag the effect onto the electric guitar two layer. Now we have the exact same amplifier on both guitar layers. Let's go back and take a listen. Let's close this effect here on electric guitar one and open up the effect on electric guitar two. I think what we have sounds good right now, but I would like this to sound like two separate guitar players. So to do that, we can just change a few settings in here to make it sound like two separate amplifiers. Let's go back and begin by changing the head and then maybe change the cabinet as well. Now we can dial in a new tone on this amplifier and we should be all set. Excellent, I think that sounds good. We can go ahead and close this out now and then unsolo our guitar layers, go back and take a listen. Excellent, let's do the same thing to the bass as I also recorded that directly into my audio interface. So we can solo out the bass here, go to add effect, we'll search for amp, and we see the Studio Devil Virtual Bass Amp. We'll click that, and then we can dial in a nice bass tone. Excellent, I think that sounds good, so we can close the window, unsolo it, and take a listen to everything in context. Alright, so I think we're off to a really good start and now we have something that sounds a bit more like a rock song. At this point, I think it's also worth mentioning another very cool feature of Mixcraft and that is live audio monitoring. In my case, I was plugging into my interface directly without using an amplifier, and then we added a virtual amplifier later on. If you have a guitar plugged in and you've selected the correct input, you can click this monitor audio button to hear your guitar through the amplifier in real time. So this is a pretty cool feature to know about.
Now that we've added some basic effects to our mixes, let's talk about adding a preset effects chain to quickly mix these acoustic guitars. To access a preset effects chain, you can click the FX button here to edit that track's effects. Then up here in the top, you'll see this window to select the effect chain. We'll click the drop down here, and then you can see a large list of presets you can use. Right up here at the top, we see there's one specifically for acoustic guitars called Clean Wide. Once you click that, it will automatically add all of the necessary effects in that chain. Let's solo out the acoustic guitar and take a listen. Very cool, so this automatically added a compressor, equalizer, multi-effect, and a reverb all for us. We can also see the presets of each individual effect over here to the right in the preset area. You can enable or disable certain effects by using the power button here, and you can also reorder them by clicking and dragging. I'm pretty happy with this effect overall, but I would like to remove the chorusing effect and change the reverb slightly. To do that, we'll go over here to the right and click the red X next to the chorus, and then we can hit show on the reverb. The reverb here is what's simulating a larger room for the guitar to sit in. Since I recorded the acoustic guitars pretty close up, a little bit of reverb is actually a good thing just to add a bit of room and realism to the sound. However, if we take a listen, it sounds maybe just a bit too big. So we can adjust our reverb tail to something a bit smaller and then adjust the mix here to the dry and wet signal respectively. The dry signal at 0% is just the plain acoustic guitar. The wet signal at 100 is the full reverb signal. Let's play the acoustic guitar part and adjust the mixer to hear the difference. Like I said in the video about mixing, it's a general good rule to not ever overdo something. We don't want anything to be too obvious. So in this case, we've shortened the reverb tail to where it's a bit more realistic, and we can use the mixer to bring this in to where it just adds a little bit of depth to the guitar, but it isn't overly obvious. So let's bring the mixer in now until we find a level we're happy with. Once again, we can go to where it's maybe a bit too much, and then back it off. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So we can close the effect and the effect window here. Now let's solo out our second acoustic guitar layer and we can hold Alt and then click an effect and drag it on. And we'll do the same for the remaining effects so we have the same processing on both guitars. Now let's take a listen to the acoustic guitar parts. So they definitely sound a bit richer, a bit fuller, and they have a nice bit of reverb on them so they sound a bit more realistic and not so overly dry. Now let's unsolo the acoustic guitar layers and take a listen once again to everything in context. Awesome. At this point, we've got our basic mix, we've added some basic effects, and now we're ready to go in for a more polished final mix and then master our song. By now, you should be comfortable with creating a basic mix and adding effects as well as preset effects chains to your tracks. And that does it for this video, so thanks for watching.